he did a good job in building the team around Jordan. He went out and discovered Scottie Pippen. Now, again, obviously they had to move up to get him. So other teams were beginning to be aware of Pippen and uh, knew he was a good player. But to draft a kid out of Central Arkansas, an NAIA school, that takes some guts. And so I do have to give Jerry Krause credit for that. You know, obviously he swung the trade with Seattle for Olden Polonies and went ahead and got Scottie Pippen to team up with Jordan. Great move there. Also getting Horace Grant, who was a, a very good power forward on those, those championship teams in the first go round. Uh, so credit for that. And then trading Charles Oakley, who was a Jordan favorite and obviously became a, a, a good player in his own right. But getting Bill Cartwright for him was the right thing to do. Cartwright, a very good center for the Bulls and for Jordan. And so uh, I give Jerry Krause the credit uh, that he deserves for helping to build that team. That said, what he did to break up the Chicago Bulls prematurely. Now, maybe they would not have been able to win their fourth straight championship, but you do not break up a championship team that is, Jordan said it best after they won their fifth. He said, we deserve the opportunity to defend what we have built. Don't let the front office break up a championship team. Let somebody beat us on the court. I couldn't agree more. Breaking up that team is the unpardonable sin in sports. That's unpardonable. You are not a general manager to have fun playing fantasy, basketball, football, baseball, whatever. Your job is twofold, to win championships and secondly, to make the franchise money. That was happening when they were had that team together. So for Jerry Krause to be upset that he wasn't getting enough credit, to be bothered by the slights that he felt Jordan and other players, or even Phil Jackson, put his way, that is irrelevant. The nature of your job is to be behind the scenes. You're not, I mean, if you get credit, great. But that's not what it's about. Jordan, Pippen, Phil Jackson, Rodman, Winnington, all, they get the credit. And if you can't understand that, then go do something else. You not only robbed Michael Jordan, the greatest player of all time, of a chance to defend his title for the third time or seventh time, however you want to look at it. You robbed Scottie Pippen of that. You robbed the rest of the players. You robbed Phil Jackson and you robbed basketball and all of its fans. My gosh, it would have been great to see if the Bulls could beat Duncan and David Robinson, which would have been the matchup in 99 had the Bulls gotten there. So that is terrible, and I can't speak against it enough. And um, it, it's just horrible. Michael Jordan said it. The, the Chicago Cubs spent 42 years, which I think was even an understatement, rebuilding. You don't know if you're ever going to be able to rebuild a championship team. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.